USB Type C. It's everywhere. From our smartphones and laptops to modern chargers and power banks, it has truly become the universal standard for powers and data. But have you ever wondered how to use this powerful connector in your own DIY electronic projects? How to extract five volts from a USB C charger, or how to interface a USB data lines with your microcontroller? Uh, in this video, we are diving deep into this USB Type C female breakout board. A simple but a powerful tool that gives you access to all the sensitive signals of USB-C like V-Bus, ground, signal pins, communication channel pins, SBU pins. Uh, this Type-C female breakout board is very small and tiny, approximately size of my thumb. And you got the holes for connecting headers. You can solder any type of header either male or female, uh, anyone you want. Uh, during the video, I will let you know how this board works, what the CC pins and 5.1 kilo ohm register actually do how to use it for power and data and also I'll test this breakout board by uploading code into USB32 and Arduino Uno boards and also by connecting to smartphones and transferring data. So whether you are an engineer, a student or a developer or just an electronic enthusiast, stay tuned uh, because by the end of this video you will know exactly how to integrate USB Type-C into your projects in the right way. So let's get started. Uh, this is the schematic of our female Type-C breakout board, uh, let me explain this. Uh, this is the standard USB-C female connector. Uh, it has 24 pins but we primarily use the essential ones like V-Bus, Ground, D+, plus, D-, minus, uh, CC1 and CC2 and also SBU1 and SBU2 pins. Uh, let me explain all these things in detail one by one. Uh, first up is V-Bus, the power line of USB. Uh, it provides plus 5 volt DC directly from the USB source whether it's a laptop, charger or a power bank. Uh, with a Type-C connector, V-Bus is available on multiple lines like A4, B4, A9 and B9 and they are all internally connected together on this board. But here's something interesting, V-Bus doesn't turn on automatically. The USB host waits for a signal to know that a device is connected, that's where CC1 and CC2 comes in. Uh, CC1 and CC2 is a sort for configuration channel 1 and 2, are responsible for detecting the cable's plug orientation deciding who is the host and who is the device, and most importantly, triggering V-Bus power. Uh, now since USB-C is reversible, only one of these pins is active at a time. Uh, to make the host recognize our breakout board as a power receiving device, uh, we place a 5.1 kilo ohm resistors, one on each CC line, and pull them down to ground. So if you want to receive power from your laptop or power bank, then you need to pull down the CC1 and CC2 lines. Uh, and in case if you want your Type-C is give power, uh, that means your device is used as a power source, then in that case you need to pull up the CC1 and CC2 lines, uh, basically connecting the CC1 and CC2 lines to the V-Bus instead of ground. So these registers play a simple but critical role, they tell the USB source that a device is plugged in and ready to receive power. Uh, without this register, your USB-C port will not turn on the 5 volt line. Uh, now let's move to the brain of USB 2.0 communication the D plus and D minus lines. These are the differential data lines that allow real USB connection to take place. Uh, whether it's a transferring files or sending serial data or emulating a USB device, all of that happens over D plus and D minus signal lines. A uh, fun fact, USB uses differential signaling, meaning the voltage on D plus goes high while D minus goes low and vice versa to represent the digital data. So don't go on naming that the D plus only give high voltage or D minus give only low voltage. Both can give any voltage high or low. And this USB-C connector gives us two pairs of D plus and D minus lines. Uh, at a time only one pair is used based on the plug orientation. Uh, that's why it doesn't matter which way you insert the Type-C cable, it works both ways. Uh, next up are here uh, SBU1 and SBU2 which stand for side band use. Uh, now these lines are not used for regular USB or charging, they come into play in a special mode such as if you are using USB-C as a audio adapter, a display port over Type-C or debugging in some special ICs. Uh, for most makers you won't need to use these SBU lines, but they are broken out here just in case you want to explore more advanced USB-C features. Uh, here I have connected a 8 pin header in which CC1, CC2 lines, V-Bus, Ground, D+, and D-, and SBU1 and SBU2 signal lines are exposed, so you can easily use it for learning, testing and prototyping with USB-C. And after completing the schematic, I convert it into PCB and after checking every traces and components, I finalize the PCB. And for manufacturing the PCB, I gave its order to JLC PCB. JLC PCB is leading PCB manufacturing company in China. JLC PCB provides high quality reliable PCB in a very affordable price. 
and ordering process of PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Let me show you. Uh, just you need to upload the Gerber file of your PCB, select the quantity and select the color masking and after that click on save to cart to complete your order. And here if you select the faster shipping method, you will get your PCB delivered to your desired location within a week. And after 5 days, I got my PCB in a very good packaging. As usual, the quality of PCB is very premium and the PCB looks pretty professional. And this blue color PCB looks very beautiful. And apart from this, JLC PCB also provide PCB assembly services, 3D printing services and also they started multicolor color screen PCB manufacturing services as well. So if you have any PCB projects, do try out JLC PCB for your next projects. All the important links are available in the description. Uh, now let's test this Type-C breakout board. First, I am going to upload code into this USB 32 board which has old USB connector iUSB micro type B. Here I have cut my old unused type B USB cable. Uh, as you can see this cable has 4 wires. Usually red wire is VCC and black wire is ground. And other two wires are for data lines that is D plus and D minus data lines. So double check the wires before connecting it. Uh, after checking the wires, I connected to the male jumper wires for easy connection with Type-C breakout board. Uh, now connect the red wire that is VCC to the VBUS and black wire to ground and data pins to D plus and D minus respectively. Uh, you can take reference from this circuit diagram. Uh, now connect the breakout board to your computer using the Type-C cable. Uh, now in your computer, open the device manager of your computer and then click on port. Uh, here as you can see on COM port 6, Silicon Labs CP210 USB to UART bridge is connected which is an onboard programming chip on USB 32. Uh, that means my laptop is successfully communicating with the USB 32 through USB Type-C breakout board. Uh, let's try to upload code in this USB 32. For this open Arduino ID, go to files and from the example course, uh, open this basic blink sketch. And here I am changing this built-in LED to GPIO2 be uh, because in USB 32 the built-in LED is connected at GPIO2. Uh, now go to tools and select the right board which is ESP32 dev module and also select the right communication port I mean COM port in my case it is COM port 6 uh, now click on upload button to upload the code and wait and check if the code is successfully uploaded or not uh, here as you can see code is started uploading here code is successfully uploaded as you can see LED on the ESP32 is blinking that means this breakout board is working good and we are able to upload the code using this Type-C female breakout board in my ESP32. So let's try to upload code in any other board like in Arduino Uno using this USB Type-C breakout board. For this I am going to use this uh, USB Type-B connector to upload the code into Arduino Uno board. Uh, here I have connected a male jumper wire to the USB Type-B cable. So let's connect the Arduino Uno board with the Type-C breakout board. Now again open device manager to check if the Arduino Uno is connected to the computer or not. Here as you can see a USB serial device is connected at the port 4 which is our Arduino Uno board. Uh, now let's try to upload code in Arduino Uno board as well. Uh, change this GPIO to the default built in LED. Again go to tools and select the right communication port uh, that is COM port. And also write board which is Arduino Uno and now click on upload button as you can see code is uploaded successfully uh, that means we are successfully communicating with our computer through this type C breakout board uh, now I am going to connect this my old smartphone which has micro type B connector and see if this will work or not Here as you can see a pop up appear uh, which shows charge only or transfer file. Uh, this means my smartphone is communicating with my computer through USB type C breakout board. Here as you can see I am able to access my phone through my computer which is connected through type C breakout board. And now I can transfer files as well. So this USB type C breakout board is working super fine. So in this way you can replace all the old USB connector with the modern type C connector using this breakout board and apart from this there are lot other applications of this breakout board. 
uh, you can use it as a power supply for your DIY projects uh, extract plus 5 board regulated power from any USB-C source like a laptop adapter or power bank uh, you can use it as a testing and debugging tool uh, quickly test USB type-c cables and power sources uh, you can use it in custom USB power devices uh, like plug and play USB-C power devices like USB disk lamps uh, access SBU1 and SBU2 for experimenting with USB-C audio adapters accessories mode or display port over type-c uh, it is great for developers working with audio codec chips or type-c audio adapters uh, this breakout board is perfect tool for students and beginners to learn how USB Type-C works and the basics of the power delivery. So yeah, that's it in this video. I hope you like this video and learn something new. If you want to purchase this USB Type-C female breakout board, you can purchase it from my website that is technorabelectronics.com. Uh, buying link is available in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye. Have a nice day.